All right, let's talk about the best available help at safety and linebacker for the Detroit Lions right now. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Share the video. Best way to donate to the channel is share the video. Thumbs up the video if you haven't. Subscribe. Appreciate that. But check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. And, you know, I think people look at the linebacker core as the weakest shot to Michael Mike um, and Mark Warren. I was on there with them last week. Me and Mike going to try to do something every week where uh, I'm on Mike channel one week, he on my channel the other week. So, um, but, um, but, but, but yeah, looking at it, you know, linebacker and safety is kind of what we agreed on. It's kind of the weakest positions on the team, especially, obviously, uh, the defense. Okay. And we need a lot of help in those positions. And, you know, the linebacker core has little or no hope. Like Mark Orr was saying, um, Derek Barnes, uh, is an off the ball, as an on the ball linebacker pass rusher, but um, let's look at um, let's look at some of the help we got at the safety position first. And right now, you look at it, a lot of young talent, Tracy Tracy Walker and uh, and the kid from Boston College, Will Harris. But we don't know how good they are, where they going to be this year. Was it Patricia? Was it them? But when you look at the safety position, the first three guys that you see is Malik Hooker. Trey Boston and Jeff Heath. Now, Jeff Heath is more of the box safety. He's a guy that's like an extra linebacker, gonna get in the box and provide run support. Jeff Heath it was has been rumored to um, actually be a Detroit Lion. Um, I think he was an Oakland Raider last year. He also has been a, um, a Dallas Cowboy. Okay, he's from Lake Orion, Orion Township, Michigan. That's I think they got a GM plan up there as well. Two six one. He went undrafted out of Saginaw Valley uh, College. And uh, he spent 13 and 19 with the Cowboys, 2020 with the uh, Raiders, and now he's a free agent. But um, he's a great in the box choice. You know, if you don't believe in Will Harris being in the box, Will Harris has these great. Um, he has these uh, these great measurables. He's like six one. He runs like a damn near a four four, and um, you know, very very athletic. And they seeing Jeff Heath, uh, you know, ran a four four eight, which I don't know if I believe that, but. Uh, but uh hold on <laughs> but i don't know if i believe that but um yeah looking at it first you look at jeff heath he can provide some box support and you have to actually look at the actual roster and they just got tracy walker listed as a db he's not even listed as a safety and he did play some corner he did play some corner uh in college and you look at the safeties um jake jake elliott deandro uh, amos will harris um Elijah Holder, uh, Goodwin, I can't pronounce his last name, Dean Marlowe, CJ Moore, Bobby Price. And you look at the DBs, and they got uh, Tracy Walker and uh, Afantu as a DB. But um, really, man, you look at the depth, the depth is slim to none at that position as far as uh, talent. Uh, excuse me, I had a phone call, but that's it. But let's look at the linebackers, too. We got Alice Alizone. Uh, what well, are you talking about the youth for the safeties? Um, you got, uh, excuse me, C.J. Moore, third year, D. Marlowe, sixth year, Godwin, two, second year, Elijah Holder, second year, Will Harris, third year, Jake Elliott, Jalen Elliott, excuse me, is in his first year, uh, D'Angelo Amos, rookie out of Virginia. Um, and that's it. But also, looking at the linebacker core, um, Looking at the linebacker, Alex Alizon, Derek Barnes, more of a pass rusher. Uh, Mark was saying, Tavante Beckett, rookie from Marshall, Jamie Collins, senior, we know about him. Reggie Gilbert, Sean Dion Hamilton, fourth year guy at Alabama, Anthony Pidwin, Jalen Reese Maben, fifth year with us, Jalen Rant, uh, Jelani Tavai, third year with us. Um, and that's it, man. But kind of to continue to go through the safeties, man. Really, the three looking at Jeff Heath and then Trey Boston. And Malik Hooker and Trey Boston has been around the league. He's a guy bouncing around with the Chargers and the Carolina Panthers. I don't, I don't understand why he don't stick somewhere because he's a really, really good safety. He's 29 years old now. Um, you know, went to North University of North Carolina. Uh, when you look at him, ball hawk, athletic. Uh, you know, he had one interception his rookie year. Second year, didn't have one. Two, five, three, three, one last year. So ultimately, you know. Ultimately, he's been solid at the free safety at the safety position, man. 
And he's just really never been able to stick, stick nowhere. He went to I see Carolina, Carolina Chargers, Arizona, Carolina, Carolina. And he's a free agent again, so I don't understand exactly what he's doing wrong. But he's 29. He's 28. Uh, he's 20, 29, June 25th. Okay, and you continue to look. And you look at Malik Hooker, he might be the most interesting one out of Ohio State. Really good safety. Should be one of the better safeties in the, in the league. Put you in the mindset as far as the, um, Ed Reed, ball hawk type of guy. But can never stay healthy. Um, they say Malik Hooker, hoping to visit some more teams. He can never stay healthy, but he's 25. And, you know, he just had, a, I think he blew his Achilles out. Um, you know, you know. Really, really good uh, ball hawk guy, man. And he's been with uh, Carolina 17 through 20, uh, 17 through 2020, 15th overall pick, and you know, just injuries to continue to derail his career. He played, he's played 14 games his second year, 13 his third year, two last year. I think he blew out his Achilles or something. Um, they said he visited the Cowboys, the Dolphins, and the Steelers this this off season, but he's still looking for a new home. Uh, Dallas has added. Another safety, DeMonte Key. So, um, I don't know if you're looking for too much money. I don't know if you're looking for too much money or uh, or you're just waiting for the right shot. Okay? I don't know. But, um, but yeah, I think I think he's the riskier one of the bunch. I think he's a situational player to show he can stay healthy. But those three safeties that, we, that, that I think I'm looking at, man. You got also like Kenny Vaccaro, older guy, had a bad injury. That's how he got out of New Orleans. Uh, he's more of a box guy, probably can cover a little bit. But um, yeah, I like I like uh, Vaccaro too. He ain't in Tennessee no more. But um, uh, but he wouldn't be a bad guy to put in here. Remember, most veterans don't like to don't like to go to training camp. You had Bradley McDougal. Um, uh, you got Andrew Sadejo. He played with Cleveland last year. But, um, but yeah, man, pretty much, you know, I think if I had to rank them, I think I would go uh, Trey Boston, one Malik Hawker, two Jeff Heath, then Kenny Picaro. I just think Hooker still got so much, um, something to give. But, um, you're talking about the linebacker core, Melvin Ingram can help you, especially if you don't, you know, you don't feel comfortable with the guy standing up. Inside, you got KJ Wright, um, he can help you, but he always been in the 3 4, I mean, the 4 3 uh, situation, um, other than that, man, B.J. Goodson, out there, somebody brought that up in the micro mic chat. Michael Kendrick would be a nice guy, uh, speedy guy, uh, kind of small, but I still could provide you some speed at the linebacker core. Uh, but, yeah, man, there's some guys out there, man. Um, but uh, you got David Irvin still out there who could help you interior. But, um, you know, I think K.J. Wright, if he feel comfortable in the system, he's 32. I think Melvin Ingram is a guy. Olivier Vernon is a guy. I don't know if he can stand up so much, but I think Melvin Ingram, KJ Wright is the guy you're looking at to sit on the inside and help you. But they so you know they so they lacking so many good. They lacking good um, cover. You also cover linebacker. You also got Ka Kawan Alexander. Play from New Orleans. Why not bring him over? He from New Orleans. Um, I think obviously Aaron Glenn knows he can fit the system, but um, but really it ain't you know ain't too many great spots out there. But where the Lions strong at. There's some solid solid corners out there. There's some solid offensive linemen out there. You still got Mitchell Schwartz. We got Inch in the Super Bowl. Russell Okun, you know, uh, Rick Wagner. Well, yeah, Rick Wagner. But um, Everson Griffin's still out there. But, um, but yeah, you know, Trey Turner is sent to linemen. So, where the Lions strong get us a lot of help there. But, you know, receiver-wise, uh, we get there later. But Al Shaw Jeffrey's still out there. Trey Burton's still out there. Caught a bunch of touchdowns, I think, in India somewhere. Uh, at one point, Princeton Mukamara, he's still doing it. Josh Norman, I think he needs to retire. He owed his Methuselah. You got Josh Barnes playing for the Lions as well, too. But I think uh, I think uh, Michael Kendricks, uh, K.J. Wright, and Melvin Ingram is the ones that I'm truly looking at. So, I mean, we'll see. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Uh, check out the Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, choir response, or video request. All our social media links in description. Twitter's to pass away and Facebook and Instagram. If you want to make a financial donation, cash app CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well too. Best of the donate, share, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you guys think about the available linebackers and safeties. And if somebody I miss, let me know in the comment section. Appreciate the love, support. Thumbs up the video, share the video. 
And check out my main channel, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports news and news entertainment right here on YouTube. That's Goodfellas Sports TV. Peace. All right, all my Detroit Piston fans and all my Detroit fans, all my Motor City Sports Talk fans, make sure you guys go check out Piston Mike. We got him over 100 followers. So make sure you check him out. Everything Pistons, man, he going to hold it down and do his thing just strictly on the Pistons thing. You know, I got the lines of Pistons, but, man, we always trying to help people get their channel up. Let's get him to 200 next, 300 next, 400 next, 500 next, and let's get him all the way to a rack so he can start making that bag. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you go over to Piston Mike as you see it on the screen. Let's get him to 200, then 300, then 400, then 500, and the whole shebang. Peace.